Hello, my name is Nate. Welcome to my Fluid Art channel. Uh, today I'll be demonstrating how I created this painting. The technique is called a wing pour. And if you're new to Fluid Art or have never tried this technique, please check out the description box for what I call the keys to success. All the tips and hints that you'll need in order to have a successful wing pour, as well as the colors that I've used, the paint brands and that kind of thing. Um, at the very end, I also give you a, um, a close-up of the wet results so you see the lovely details. And um, don't forget to also like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought. Thanks a lot and enjoy.
What's your story? What's your sign? It's like we're twin flames in a different life. Deep connection, lights a spark. It's like you know me in the depths of my heart. We're dreamers. All right, so I've turned the studio lights off so I don't have as big a glare over top. Uh, this is my angel wing pour. Turned out pretty cool, I think. I'm really liking the details. I'm gonna take you in for a close-up. So I'll start with the, um, the flow extender that I put down. I put down two different colors of blue. The base blue that I used for the, or the uh, thalo blue that I used for uh, this section around the ring and in my cup and then uh, an extra metallic one as well that I had sitting left over beside it. And, um, and then just kind of mix them together with the, um, the oxo spatula. Look at the fingerlings coming off of that. It's so beautiful, that definition is great. I love that deep red in there giving it some contrast. Look at those ripples there. So beautiful. I love the way the white comes off of the tips of all of these little feathers. So cool, there's even a floating feather there. <laughs> a couple, another one here. Yeah, and that, uh, the gold and the Naples uh, yellow red, I think it is. Yeah, the Naples yellow red. Um, it created a really cool ombre effect. I'm really digging that, very cool. I was a little worried about that combo, actually, but it turned out great. The center is amazing with all of these little boulder cells, like layers and layers of cells. It turned out amazing. That 
opaque white and the uh, transparent thalo blue created that kind of ribbed effect there too, very nice. And the fingerlings on this side and feathering is also great. That turquoise with the red there, wow. Such a great contrast. Look at the layering of colors in that section. This, wow, couldn't be happier with that. Very cool. And, um, yeah, I love the thalo blue. That'll dry even darker. It'll be an even more of a contrast. I was really trying not to go over the edge, and I failed there in that one spot. I did much better on the other side. I got it right to the edge. <laughs> But I, did, I wasn't ready to anchor that side, but that kind of determined the whole composition. Once that side went over, that told me I was done uh, stretching in that direction. So, yeah, I think I'm pretty happy with this. Turned out pretty cool. I hope you enjoyed, and uh, thanks for watching.